Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to start out on really talking about a little bit of your journey. Um, you have set forth on this quest uh, and it's been a long quest. How did it start and what did you discover about sound frequency? I started with a, um, a spiritual crisis. I was rewriting the Old Testament, the Bible, from God's point of view. And I became very upset that um, the Old Testament God was temperamental, angry, um, sometimes just not nice. And I decided that God was love and that I wasn't going to let any person interfere with that and dumb down my all my idea of all that is because if I can think of some type of God or divine or higher energy that's um, beautiful and complete and loving that's a direct reflection on who I am so in this spiritual quest um, I started with the Kabbalah close to the Old Testament and shortly, I got into um, the Sumerian mysteries, the fabulous, fabulous stuff, um, even um, different types of myths and different types of history that refer to civilizations prior to the last ice age. But my favorite has to be ancient Egypt, reigning for 3,000 years with a deep fascination with the spiritual and the spiritual as a way to achieve wealth power and health as a nation and the spiritual secrets to um, ingesting becoming higher energy of the divine and um, transferring with this this um, energy and connecting to um, our soul after death the pharaoh's soul after death and their secrets that they refined and um, defined again, um, they're everything the spiritual aspirant needs. I know from my study with science and with music and history and the, the music that I've created that everything's energy and everything therefore has a certain rate it vibrates, a frequency. So the frequency gives you like a line drawing of an item. It's very powerful. You can mm. add a harmonic, and then it's like turns into color. That's why that crystal tuning fork impacted you so much. And then you can go and add layer after layer after layer. Um, they would add sacred geometry. They would add nature. And I've recre recreated these masterful techniques i just was i guess so honored to um, uncover them and be able to use them to have an incredibly powerful gift um, a beautiful way to access the ancient egyptian sephiroth which are gateways to higher dimensional energies and a sephiroth it's a doorway it's a door to an aspect of god it's a door to higher energies awareness dreams of the divine and I would say that ancient Egypt with all her prowlessness and appetite for spiritual mastery can give us all the tools that we who are awakening need today and we're going to bring forth some that are 
have been previously secret, and I'm really excited about that. Okay. Well, I want to let everyone know we're we're doing some time. There's a, there may be a few little breaks every once in a while. Hang with us because, as I shared, every time we tend to really go beyond uh, energetically and frequency-wise, which I think is going to happen today. Sometimes the lines make a little bit of break here and there, but I don't think it's anything too bad. I want to ask you a few questions, Jill, because we've talked about this. You uncovered through many, many, many different ancient societies and, and um, I know Egypt is going to be one of them. Some interesting things. You uncovered sounds that at the time could cure leprosy, open psychic skills, levitate a rock. Tell me, tell us a little more about that because that's got to be pretty profound to, to play. Okay, Darius, just so you know, I'm, I'm not hearing you well at all. Are you able to hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Uh, hold on one second. Can you? All right, let me do this. Um, let me dial in on another line. If you could just hold tight. Okay. And if everyone sure. can hear me. All right, just hold on one second. I'm going to dial in here again on a different line. One of the things that I wanted to ask you about was we talked privately that you had uncovered many different fascinating things, including sounds that could actually make gardens grow twice as fast. Uh, you discovered mm -hmm. through your studies sounds that at the time – these ancient civilizations could cure leprosy and open up psychic skills and even <laughs> levitate a rock. It's got to be pretty amazing. Tell us a little bit about that and, and what was going on. What was happening in those civilizations? What did they realize? Sound was one of the foremost tools to change matter. It's easily accessible, easily measured. The, right. the only issue is you have to get enough quantity of it. You have to pay attention and get the proper dosage. But any frequency has like, a, um, if you imagine in science, it has a high point and a low point in the wave. And when the high point and the low point combine at the same time, they cancel each other out. So therefore, leprosy, for example, is going to be a certain frequency. If, and you would take the, app, the opposite the op like let's say it's 10 cycles per second sound, combine it with minus 10, and if you get a, a good enough dosage, you will um, cancel out your leprosy. As far as lifting a rock, um, think to the opera singer as she sings that really glorious high note and the crystal glass shatters. It's not any old high note that breaks that crystal. It's got to be the high note that's the same frequency as the crystal glass. Energy transfers from her voice and, and the the crystal can't hold it and it and it blows up to smithereens. Hmm. And think to science now that uses sounds to blast your kidney stones. They're doing the same thing today in medicine. So sound um has been used for health, for euthening, for um, relationships, for wealth, for abundance, um, for thousands of years. And part of the dumbing down of the human race is that we forgot that um, sounds were medicine, that sounds are power. And it's all coming back, and we're going to learn about it today, too. Well, we are going to be playing some sound frequencies. We're going to be plugging in, and uh, as, thank you, everyone, for dealing with some of the, the sound challenges here, but it is getting better. I think we figured out what was going on. Tell me about uh, the is it the Sephiroth and what you uncovered. What What is the story behind that and ancient Egyptian uh, alchemy? The Sephiroth, they're energy gateways to higher dimensional divine energies. Each Sephiroth, it's a door to an aspect of God. There are ten Sephiroths in the Tree of Life, each an aspect of God. Um, recall Moses from the Old Testament. He was raised as a Pharaoh's son. He, as a Pharaoh's son, you had access to the deep secrets of all the temples and mm. of all the gods. 
So he has this incredible, powerful information. When he takes the Israelites and they leave Egypt, he takes Egypt's deep spiritual heritage. He takes the Egyptian tree of life and the Mm. ten sephiroth with them. And when you, you never see the Egyptian people write down their most powerful secrets. I can't imagine keeping a secret for a couple years. They kept secrets on how to build a pyramid, for example, for 3,000 years. Anything of great value was never written down. So Moses leaves with the power of the Sephiroth, which are the crowning glory of all of the fabulous techniques from the Egyptian mysteries. And it is written down in the Hebrew Kabbalah. And when you look at the Kabbalah, the crowning glory of the Kabbalah is the tree of life and the ten Sephiroth. In the Egyptian tradition, each Sephiroth was um, guarded by an Egyptian god or goddess. Um, um, Here's an analogy, Darius. Think of... um, Moses is God, Yahweh, as white light. And as this white light, all that is, streams through a prism, it displays the beautiful colors of the rainbow. So they're both one and the same, the rainbow and all that is. And you could think of each color of that rainbow as a sephiroth, or each color of that rainbow as one of the gods or goddesses in ancient Egypt. And the the beauty of the Sephiroth is that it's the combination of them all. It's the mm. the power and the glory from not this temple or that temple, but from all the temples, from all the gods. And they are more powerful together than if you were to add them up individually. Hello and welcome, this is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution, and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.